Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to tackle a topic that is not talked about enough, which is why ChatGPT is sometimes terrible for keywords and why sometimes it's really, really good. I'm going to show you a few techniques in this video, and I'm also going to show you how to do proper keyword research with uh, ChatGPT, but I just want to talk about why there is this problem and how to fix it. So what a lot of people do is they just say, give me a keyword in this niche. So let's just do that. Give me a keyword for a blog, um, for a website in classic menswear. I'm using classic menswear because I'm a very good judge of whether a keyword is good or a keyword is bad for um, this particular niche because I've been in this niche for a long time. A useful keyword for a blog in classic menswear could be timeless men's style. I'll tell you right now, that is an absolutely terrible bloody keyword. Now, what you can do is, there are two things you can do. Either you can increase or, yeah, increase the quality of the input, or you can prompt further, right? So what do I mean by that? Either you say, instead of saying, give me a keyword, for a blog, for a website in classic menswear, you change that, give it a bit more information, let it understand a bit more, or you say something like, that is not good enough, please give me something a bit niche and something that will actually bring traffic to my website. And this time we have bespoke men's suiting trends, which is actually already a little bit better. So bespoke, men's suiting trends. Now, why is that better? Why is that better? Pause the video for two seconds. Ask yourself, why is that better? Welcome back. So, timeless men's style, okay? I will show you right now why one of these keywords is good and why one of them is bad. Bespoke, uh, let's start with timeless men's style. Why is it a bad keyword? It's a bad keyword because it's too broad, okay? No one goes on Google and searches timeless style. No one goes on Google and types in timeless men's style. You might go on Google and type in men's style, obviously, but what's the likelihood that your website is gonna rank on the first page of Google for men's style? Next to nothing, let's just be honest. That's just how Google works. Okay, however, this keyword here, bespoke men's suiting trends, maybe someone searches bespoke suiting or bespoke suits. That's one possible keyword that you can rank for, keyword combination. They might search for bespoke men's suits. That's two. They might search for suit trends. That's three. They might search for men's suit trends. That's four. And then finally, bespoke men's suiting trends. That is five different potential searches that someone might make on Google that you could appear for, that this blog post that you are writing could appear for. There's a huge difference between writing something super broad and writing something a bit more specific. Now, you don't want to go too specific until you've done the slightly broader things, and it is a bit of a balancing act. But one thing I will say is that ChatGPT or Claude or any of these keyword tools they will almost never give you a good keyword the first time. So the first time you say to ChatGPT, give me a keyword, it's most likely not going to give you a good result. Now, there are a few things that we can do to change this. Like I said before, we can change the input. So what I like to do is I like to give it the website. So I like to say, can you take a look at my website, https 2 mendoit on Bing and see what the website does, what it's about, what they sell, etc. So what it will do is it will use Bing, it will find the website, it will understand your website, and it will say the website Two Men focuses on luxury fashion, blah, 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 founded by Nicola and Pietro Giuseppe under the Borgo SRL company, that is totally accurate. Two Men aims to, so they've obviously gone to the About Us page, yep, this is very, very common. So. It's picked up a little bit more information. Look, it says fall, winter 23, 24 collection. So I'm hoping that when I say, can you, 
Can you now give me a good keyword that will bring traffic to two men and help them sell their products? Let's see. Mm, okay, the first one's not great. Luxury Italian menswear online store. It's not perfect, but the second one is pretty good. Italian luxury suits and fashion. That could be a good keyword. Designer Italian menswear collections. That could be another good keyword. Let's say now please make it super specific to two men thinking about what they're selling and how we can sell their products. Give me five. So I like to get five examples when I'm doing something like this just so that we can go through it quickly. Perfect, 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 perfect. This is what I'm talking about. These are much, much, much better articles, okay? Two men, Kiton, luxury menswear sale. You could slightly change that, talk about um, kit on, on sale at two men or whatever it might be. Two men, Brunello Cuccinelli, sweaters and coats, literally perfect. Exclusive Italian designer menswear sale at two men, fine. Shop Neapolitan suits and fashion. This is what I was talking about before, okay? Shop Neapolitan suits and fashion, okay? This is a beautiful keyword. It's beautiful. It's very specific. It's exactly what we sell. And you've got a very, very high chance of ranking for this keyword compared to something like we talked about before, something like classic menswear or Italian fashion or whatever it might be. Now, that's two things that you can do to improve your input. I'm also going to give you, sorry, your output. I'm also going to give you a third thing. I want you to click on Explore GPTs. And I want you to search for topical authority, like that. Inside the, you're looking for the Phoenix logo. I want you to click it. You'll see it has 4.8 ratings with 400 plus ratings. So it's obviously pretty good. I made this tool. So we're going to press start, uh, start chat. There's a couple of things you can do. You can type classic menswear, or you can say use Bing to look up https 2 menit and then start. So sometimes it'll say, I don't have the ability to, okay, this time it does have the ability, perfect. So what we can do is, this has actually already been specifically designed to give you what you need, okay? So it's read the website, it's looked at the website, and this is what it's decided are good keywords. Now I will tell you right now, all of these are good. I'm looking at them now. This is why I chose this niche, and this is why I always do this niche as an example, because I understand this niche and I know what does well. Italian designer suits, that's fine. Formal trends in 2024, perfect, beautiful keyword, that will rank well. Italian footwear, these are all the main pillar pages that you should be creating, okay? Wedding attire, amazing. Now, give me the sub pillar pages. Let's hit enter here. What it's gonna do now is for each one of these, it will now give us 20. So single-breasted versus double-breasted, classic Italian suits, dot, top designer suit brands. Yeah, you can just see the, the, this is literally the best way to do this. If you want to use ChatGPT for keyword research, I really, really recommend that you check this tool out. If you don't want to use this tool, I've just given you two other methods. But I'll tell you right now, if you put something like this and you take it on to, let's say, Ahrefs, Keyword Explorer, and then we'll just, oh, I'm in Spain. Let me just go to United States. Remember, I, I didn't do keyword research the way that normal people do keyword research, okay? So it came up with the term travel suits. Did I see that right? Yeah, travel suits. Travel suits is a keyword with 250 search volume, very low keyword difficulty, and if I click here, you'll see that there will be many, many other keywords. So obviously you don't want space in here, but that's fine. So you have travel suits, travel suits for men, travel bag for suits, best travel suits, suits travel. There's probably 1,000 to 5,000 keyword uh, searches per month for something to do with travel suits. All you need to do now is create that content. If you wanna know how to create that content, we will leave a video in the description of this video showing you how to create content. Or you can just click here, 
I guess we'll put a little pop-up here on YouTube. Just click that button or this button or here or I don't know where it's going to be. It'll be here somewhere. Click that button. It will show you how to produce content. I advise you to watch this video, that video after watching this video. Now you have your keywords. Please go and create that content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out.